Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors. With James Holst and Pat McSherry and the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. Look at that fish. <laughs> this is In-Depth Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of In-Depth Outdoors. I'm James Holst. Now on today's show, we had about two and a half hours north and east to Sawyer County, Wisconsin, where I'm gonna fish with PJ Vic. And now this body of water we're gonna target, it's not really known as a walleye fishery. Obviously there's walleyes in it. It's more of a, a bass and bluegill lake, to be honest with you. But early season, early ice, uh, like the conditions we have right now, there's a prime opportunity to get in on a great walleye bite on this type of fishery. And we're going to share that with you. And something you're really going to want to pay attention to is the pattern that we explain in today's spot on the spot is one that you can use year after year on a body of water near you. If you can get your head wrapped around it, you're going to score big. So stick around. I think you're going to really enjoy today's show. So PJ and I got out real early this morning. I think we left the motel about five, that's a couple hours before sunrise. Got all the iFish Pro set up. And what we're fishing here is we've got a bay that has kind of a soft bottom basin area in it. And around that are shallow weeds. Uh, it's just your real classic early ice type scenario where these walleyes will come in from the deeper water out on the main lake, come in and hit these weed edges looking for perch or other bait fish. And then when they're not really actively feeding or when they're transitioning in and out, this little basin area, and by that I mean it just doesn't have any weed cover. It's clean, it's clear. Uh, they're able to see these baits. Uh, this is gonna be kind of our ambush point. We know there's fish up actively feeding on those weed lines, but we'll sit right here between the weed lines and the deep water and let the walleyes come right through our sets. Hey James, there's a flag. I got it, I got it. Oh my God. <laughs> we just got all the iFish Pro set. Sun's not even up yet. Good job, PJ my man. and I were just <laughs> about to. He ran a lot of line. He did. We were just about ready to put some jigging rods together and have at it. And this happened. All right. Nice. <laughs> That's a Perfect decent fish. start to the morning. Heck yeah, yeah. it is. It probably is 17 inch or so. I like it. Well, this guy's lucky. I still got a few perch fillets left over from last week, so we're in good shape there. He gets to go back. But this is one of those uh, three over 18 lakes? Yeah, this is a three over 18. Yep. Right in the corner of the mouth, but he was hooked good. Yep. Nice. Excellent. We had something wonderful happen last night. Super nice fish. Mm -hmm. We got some snow finally. Not, not a lot, obviously. Yeah. But I mean, one of the things that we've been fighting, running around looking at lakes is prior to the snow, there's just crystal clear ice. And of course, with the warm temperatures we've been having. Sun, every lots day. Of sun. <laughs> so it's just like in the summer, right? When you get those flat, calm, bright, sunny days, the fish don't bite. Well, when you've got that much ice, there's no chance you're gonna get any wind to break up the, you know, the surface. So, I mean, just getting a little bit of snow, we both come out of the motel rooms this morning and we were like, yeah. Smiling, yeah. <laughs> I, I've been roaming around quite a few lakes and they're all about three to four inches, but mm -hmm. it's it's like looking at an, a, an aquarium through the ice. So it <laughs> doesn't well, make things easy. But the windows help. have been short. Yeah. That's the same thing we ran out to in uh, you know North Dakota. I yeah. mean, even out there in those sloughs where the water clarity is not great. I mean, this is a lot better. Same thing. It was just really clear conditions. Once that sun came up, the fishing just got stinky. Yeah. Ice fishing's been put on notice. Strike Master's gonna kick your gas. Meet the lithium 24 volt auger, the 14 pound powerhouse that crushes the performance of standard cordless drills. Lighter weight, more holes per charge. All in a compact design that puts the 24 volt from Strike Master in a class by itself. 
No more gas and oil. No more lugging around your heavy two-stroke auger. It's time to make the switch to Strike Master. Kick your gas. At Eskimo, we have the tools to help you enjoy your time on the ice. We say man needs food, clothing, and shelter. When it comes to shelter, we like the Outbreak 450i with its full-size no-trip door that's nearly 74% bigger than a standard door, making it much easier to load and unload. With 75 square feet of fishable area, you'll be warm and comfortable during your day on the ice. Check out the Outbreak 450i and our full line of products at GetEskimo.com. From the first time you pick up a tuned-up custom rod, you'll know you're holding something special. A rod not mass-produced, but built one at a time by the hands of gifted craftsmen. Rods like the Precision, ice fishing's most versatile multi-species rod. Or the Precision Noodle, with a tip so sensitive you'll never fish a spring bobber again. And the Commander, the rod that's never met a big fish it couldn't best. Tuned up custom rods. Ice rods handcrafted for you and the way you fish. Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters is the number one ice fishing headquarters. We have everything you need from today's firearms to the latest fishing electronics and the hottest footwear and outdoor apparel. We only carry the best brands at the best prices. Have a question? No problem. We have the most knowledgeable team in the business ready to answer your call personally seven days a week. Whether you're visiting us in Walker, Minnesota or touching your screen with our state-of-the-art distribution center, we can get you gear when you need it fast. Cast or blast, Reeds has the best service, best advice, and best price guaranteed. I'm coming here. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, yeah. Nice walleye. Nice walleye. <laughs> nice chunky one. I just got in this hole. There's a little bit of weeds, probably about a foot, foot or so on the bottom, and I could see him lurking down in there. He just come jolting out and grabbing onto this eighth ounce VMC rattle spoon. Really nice chunky fish. And get him back in. Off you go. Awesome. Flag outside right. Thank you, sir. Yep. It's sinking. I see it moving. Come here. Oh yeah. Oh is yeah. It... Yep. <laughs> Going the other way. There it All is. Right. I love it when they do that. <laughs> they hit the bait and they just sit there and sink. <laughs> Sink right to the bottom and chew on it. Acting pretty nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a nice, nice walleye. walleye. Nice walleye. Heck yeah. Oh, come on, buddy. Back this way. It's so hard with them thin ice. There we go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> Sweet. The That's probably fish a pros. 23, I bet. Yeah. It's a beautiful great. fish. We've got these, these, this group of four iFish pros in a neck down area. Need, need a forceps? Yeah. Thank you. We've got this island here. We've got a point behind us and it just brings the the deep water into a funnel before it spills up into the shallow bay we've been catching fish both places right but i think what we're doing now is we're cutting them off before we, they get to the shallow water we are yeah yeah it's just a Heck nice of a fish nice vein of deeper water that comes in from the real deep main mm -hmm. lake water and they're definitely following it like a roadway so we'll explain it in more detail on this in the spot on the spot but this is your classic neck down area it's more like deer hunting than it is you know your active <laughs> spot them and chase them down kind of thing yeah i like We're this. fish hunting <laughs> <laughs> well that was a blacktail chub yeah it was a blacktail chub i'll grab another one pj loves to drive the bait dealers nuts uh he gets blacktail chubs somewhere over here in uh, wisconsin and it's a bait that i i've never seen it in minnesota I'm not saying it's not there but i've never seen it sold we've had a couple of shoots here in the last year or two where the, those blacktail chubs have been pretty dynamite. To me, they look a lot like a red tail. And I'm gonna guess if you had red tails, the fish wouldn't care. Here's the magic bait. Your glove fell out of your pocket. Okay. Whoa! That right there is why I think they work so well. They are way more active than a sucker. Yes. Or, or, or a regular chub. I mean, they're spazzy. All right, got the hook in there. 
That's what a black tail chub looks like. I think uh, earlier you said, looks like just a great big fathead, which yeah, is pretty it, close. It kind of does. The, the yeah. mouth is different, but yep. if I can get fat heads like coloration. that, I fish them all the time. Perfecto. So perfecto. Perfecto. There you go. We've had a nice little mix of jigging fish and the eye fish pro yeah. fish. Not surprised that our biggest fish have come on the set lines. No, the me neither. Pros. Bigger bait. But one thing I, I really... Right there, right there, go. Yep. <laughs> Got him. What we got? I think we got a walleye here. Yay. Lots of head shakes. Yep, I saw Was a white it? tip of the tail. All yeah, right. I didn't see much of the fish, just the tail going down. It looked like a, I seen the length. It looks like a decent one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, very nice. <laughs> right on. They're all nice. Yes, they are all nice. <laughs> Now they're black tail chub. We're on a rip with them right now. Well, what I gotta do is I gotta run back to the main slide and grab some more black tail chubs because yeah, I think we're, we're kind of picked for <laughs> Shiners have been good too, though. Yeah, they have been. They have been. There you go. Yeah, still got the black tail. That was a little one. Nice fish, though. There we go. I'm gonna let that one go. Yeah. Oh, walleyes make me happy. <laughs> Introducing the new Pro Suit Jacket and Bibs from Strike Master. Built for the coldest, toughest conditions, the Pro Suit features a ripstop polyester outer shell that is as comfortable as it is durable. A puff liner jacket adds both warmth and versatility, while integrated SOS stay on surface flotation provides up to two hours of flotation when the jacket and bibs are worn as a pair. Strike Master, the hottest brand on the ice. Okuma Fishing Tackle offers a complete lineup of reels for the die-hard ice angler. The Okuma Samar 10 and Inspira 20 are a perfect match with your favorite panfish or walleye ice fishing rod. Both feature a long stem handle that fits comfortably in a gloved hand. Cyclonic flow rotor technology that throws water off the reel to minimize ice buildup. And a drag system optimized for use in extreme conditions. Everywhere, every day, every fish. Okuma Fishing Tackle is inspired fishing. Does your sonar offer dual spectrum chirp, producing razor sharp images on an ultra bright HD display? The ability to tailor the display to the way you fish. Precision GPS functionality with legendary Lake Master mapping to move effortlessly from ice to open water. If not, you should be fishing an Ice Helix, the electronic system that offers all the features and performance successful ice anglers demand. Only from Humminbird. Suffix Advanced Mono is now on ice. Our toughest and most sensitive mono ever offers 50% less stretch than standard monofilaments. That means your hook sets are rock solid with virtually no line memory, no matter how cold the conditions. The line you choose is your direct connection between you and your next big bite. With Suffix, there's nothing you can't catch. Always use the best line. This winter, choose Suffix Advanced Ice Monofilament, the mono that thinks it's a braid. Ooh, here we go. There we go. All right, you know, not a giant, decent fish. See you bye. There we go. You're a renaissance man. <laughs> a little bit of everything. Yep. There he is. Feels like a decent fish. It's not running around like a pike anyway. Oh, it's a big bass. Oh, right in the snoot. There we go. Not my target species. Bye. There he is. Oh. We're still seeing some wall. Oh, it's a walleye. It's a walleye. Oh. You know, we're definitely outside of the peak bite window here. We're marking fish, but they are so just skittish. I mean, if you walk too loud, you get a couple guys around a hole, moving gear around, you'll have them on your flasher and they just, they're gone. 
And that one, I just was barely twitching that rattle spoon, just kind of trying to envision what it would look like, just make that rattle move, just maybe swing the bait on the bottom of the treble. And it just nipped, it didn't hit it hard at all. That one's got kind of a little, looks like he's got something going on with his nose there, like he ran into something. All right, we'll fire that fish back. They're all in great shape. Going into winter, those fish are gonna be in great shape come spring. There we got one, James. Atta boy. I don't think he's a very large one, but. Oh, it's a walleye though. Just a little guy. Got He's actually got uh, juvenile bluegills coming out of his mouth. So That's cool. We know why he's in here. Yep. <laughs> All right. Let's let him go. I'm running a, a eighth ounce DMC rattle spoon this morning. Green UV. If you watch the show, you know we run a lot of green UV. This is probably one of all of our favorite colors. It, it tends to work just about everywhere we go. And it, it, there's no exception here in the Northwoods of Wisconsin. This is definitely the one I go to in the box every time. There he is. It's not running around like a pike. <laughs> That's a good sign. We've seen enough pike for today. I'm hoping <laughs> that, uh, yeah, it feels oh, right. It looks right. Nice it looks walleye. right. Whoop, there we go. Nice. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Yeah. That one will work. That'll do. Boy, I had him buttoned up pretty good. He didn't hit it all that hard. Just one of those. Just, just glommed nip. on it a little yep. bit. Yep. He did? Yeah. Pop him out of there for me. All three. All right. Good to go. Yeah. Probably a 17, 18 inch fish. Yep. Nice and fat and chubby. I'm sure up here eating those bluegills is like everything yeah. else is doing. Yes, absolutely. Not very often we get to talk about a bluegill forage. Yeah. On the Mississippi River, you see that? A lot there. Yep. Up here in Wisconsin in the flowages, these, these lakes that are kind of, they're kind of bass lakes, really. Yeah. With walleyes. Yep. Yeah, and everything's in here feeding on them. Oh, I, yeah. I, every game fish that's in this system. Little buggers. They, yep. They're not very strong swimmers. They're probably pretty easy to yep, catch probably. this time here. That was quite easy. Thanks for the assist. Yeah, no problem, bud. In-depth outdoors, spot on the spot ID. On today's Spot on the Spot ID, I wanna share a pattern with you that is one of the most productive patterns that we target here at In-Depth Outdoors during early ice. Now, the lake map over my shoulder shows a very common scenario. This is not something that's super hard to find. In fact, I would just about guarantee that there's a body of water with a good walleye population uh, with this pattern taking place right now within a really easy driving distance of just about everybody watching this spot on the spot ID. So what we have here is uh, deeper water coming off the main lake that leads back into a shallow weedy bay. Now what happens in a scenario like this is right before ice up, walleyes are using this area to move in during the afternoons right before sunset to feed. And then they stay in that area and feed sporadically throughout the night with another peak feeding window right as the sun rises. And this situation sets up perfectly for the ice angler because it creates a pinch point where you can uh, place your baits and target those walleyes as they move shallower in the evening or from the weeds out deeper in the morning. So what you really wanna do is, we know the fish are gonna be feeding in and around the weeds that circle the shorelines but that's not actually where you wanna drop your baits. Say if you get out there in the morning, sun's not up yet, you punch your holes in these shallow areas, what you're gonna do is you're gonna scatter those fish. By the time they calm back down again, they'll be back into their pattern of moving back out towards deeper water. The approach you wanna take is find a funnel, find the area that they're most likely to move through in numbers, and that's where you set up. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is get out very early in the morning, an hour at least before sunrise, or several hours before sunset in the evening. Punch your holes, get set up, and, and you're gonna to need to be uh, very quiet. In a scenario like this, footsteps, augering extra holes, that's gonna scatter those fish, it's gonna spook them, and it's gonna take considerable amounts of time for them to settle back down. And where you wanna set up, if you can see this vein of deeper water arcing in towards the shallows, this is where the fish are gonna spend their time during uh, bright conditions, and during peak feeding windows, they're gonna move up through this little finger of deeper water. If you place your eye fish pros and a line of jigging holes right through that little funnel area, you're setting the perfect trap. Think of it more like deer hunting. Uh, get your lines where you know the fish are gonna move through twice a day, 
and you're going to be incredibly productive. Randall GM in Aiken, Minnesota's only haggle-free Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC dealer is a proud sponsor of In-Depth Outdoors TV. Our Brandall value price ensures that you don't have to spend your entire day haggling to get a great deal. And every new vehicle comes with our exclusive gimmick-free lifetime powertrain warranty. Whether you're in need of service, sales, parts, or body shop repair, stop by our state-of-the-art facility in Aiken or visit us 24-7 at BrandallGM.com. With the release of the Tungsten Bullfly Jig from BMC, your panfish presentation just got buggier. By creating a spot-on invertebrate imitator destined to fool the most wary panfish, the Tungsten Bullfly Jig is available in nine colors to further accommodate today's angling, including four metallic finishes and five ultra-glow colors, which hold a charge up to 15 minutes. This winter, match the hatch and outsmart the most finicky panfish with the BMC Bullfly Jig. Ice fishing's been put on notice. Strike Master's gonna kick your gas. Meet the lithium 24 volt auger, the 14 pound powerhouse that crushes the performance of standard cordless drills. Lighter weight, more holes per charge, all in a compact design that puts the 24 volt from Strike Master in a class by itself. No more gas and oil, no more lugging around your heavy two stroke auger. It's time to make the switch to Strike Master. Kick your gas. We've got about 15 minutes of light left here, so we're coming into walleye prime time. Earlier today, we were able to kind of pick away at some decent fish and kind of narrow down where we needed to get all the eye fish pros and the jig holes set up. Feeling pretty good about the, the setup right now. Oh, I got him. Just a little guy. Ah, she's not too shabby. There we go. Fat and healthy. Be a great eater if you're keeping fish. About 16, 17 inches. Green UV. My guess is at this hour of the night, it would not matter what color you were fishing down there, just as long as it had a good rattle to it. There we go. What happened? He's up again. He just got a flag. See you, boy. Oh yeah, that thing was peeling line. This is actually on one of the uh, shallower sets that we have up near the weed edge. All right, a nice walleye. Probably a 16 inch or so. I brought you a hemostat you and, and a minnow. You're Looks a good like man. you might need both. I need both. Oh, there, there you go. go. Nice sticky hook. All right. It's like, starting to I feel like, like winning. Once the sun goes down here, it's starting to feel like winning. Yes. <laughs> I love it. As much fun as oh, those pike and bass were earlier, this is better. Yeah, they're way better. Yeah, way better. All right, thank you. Hey, PJ, that flag out here is up. What is? It is? <sighs> here, let help you out. I think it just did that grab it and sink straight to the bottom deal. Perfect. Oh, it's still there. It's still there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that looks like the right, right flavor there. <laughs> Come to daddy. I love that sound oh. uh, on the glare ice when the, the eye fish, fish pro pops. Oh yeah. man. Oh yeah. Get him quick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> wow. Damn, what another beauty. This one is a lot more golden than the rest we've caught. Okay. Right in the rough. There we go. That's All awesome. Right. Let me see Hold that, that bad boy. Right, the bad girl. <laughs> bad girl. Beautiful fish. Yeah, that's excellent. The that's caliber of fish in here. You know, you always talk about like Tula Bee or Cisco fed walleyes being yep. the big fatties. Yeah. Eh, bluegill to the list. All right, let's fire that one yeah. back. What a beauty. You can tell this one's been a good hole. You got uh, minnows spread yeah, around it. All around. <laughs> Go back, make more. Oh, these fish are making me giddy, man. Oh, this is a happy one, James. What the heck is this wrong with This is a happy bud? one. Uh, 
That thing was way oh. heavy on the hook set. Holy cow. Holy smokes, <laughs> night shift. <laughs> I can see the spoon, I can see the spoon. It's not in there super good. Okay. Oh boy. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Look at that. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> now that is a Northwoods tank. <laughs> wow. Heavy pressure. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta forego a little sleep to make it happen, right? Man, that is awesome. What an awesome fish. Holy cow. Here, let me pop that I'm thing. I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't expecting to get that one that big. I mean, <laughs> that's awesome. There we go. What a stud. Our old standby right there coming through. <laughs> if it won't eat a green UV, you don't want to catch it. Exactly. <laughs> Who wants to catch that fish? <laughs> Man, that wow. thing is a stud. That is a stud. Wow. Eating bluegills, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. That's what he was up to. Just a fatty. Bro. Not bad day. for just after sundown. Yeah, my day is complete right there. <laughs> That is awesome. Send it back. Let's catch another one and All let it right. not be complete. <laughs> Oof. You know, for a lake walleye, that thing's got some girth. That has some shoulders. I mean, we, we catch some great lakes walleyes. Mm -hmm. but that's pretty close. <laughs> so that brings us to the end of today's show. As always, I want to end with thanking PJ Vic for spending the day and part of the night out there on the ice with me. This is one of those shoots where we caught everything that swims. There's going to be a lot of fish that don't make the final edit. It was a great day and night out there on the ice. You know, a lot of us are uh, fretting a little bit about all these warm temperatures of late, but if you can find safe ice, once you're out there, it is an absolute joy to fish. So huge thanks to PJ Vic, and uh, I look forward to fishing with you again soon, buddy. Now, before I go, I wanna remind everybody that this coming weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, December 11th, 12th, and 13th, Reed's Sporting Goods is going to be holding another uh, sport show pricing event. Uh, their event last weekend was a huge success. Hundreds of anglers participated, got great pricing on all their favorite gear. And I wanna point out, this is the last sports show pricing event that Reeds is gonna hold this year. So if you missed out last weekend, get in on it this weekend. Again, that's the 11th, 12th, and 13th of December. What you're gonna find is the best pricing on all the hottest gear. So check it all out on reedsvipdeals.com. With that said, thanks for tuning in. We'll see everybody next week. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at Indepth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.